some of us remember the early days of Western blotting. I know it's a neurotoxin, but I've got to pour this gel. Oh no, the flask is slipping. Guess I'll have to pour it again. Bands are a little streaky, but it'll do. What? The gel is tearing. Gotta try to put it back together for the transfer. No! <sighs> well, I guess there'll be some dirt on this one. Let me get the transfer membrane our lab always uses. I don't know what kind of membrane it is, but it should work, right? You block with some milk and incubate with primary antibody. You've only used it for flow cytometry before, but it should work in a Western, you think. Now for some washes. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You repeat with secondary antibody and more washing. Now it's time to detect your signal. How old is this ECL? Well, too late to figure that out. Ah, <sighs> signal to noise is too low. Again. I guess I'll repeat this tomorrow. If I have more sample left. What happens when you tailor your Western blotting protocol to suit your protein of interest and your lifestyle? Here's what you gain when you rethink Western blotting. I get so much more consistency when I use a true page precast gel. Even my 4% gels don't break when I hold them. Which membrane should I use? I need a strong membrane in case I reprobe. So I'll go with a Mobilon P PVDF membrane. Time to choose my antibody. I'll go with one that's been validated in Western blotting in my cell line, and I know it's phospho-specific. For phosphoproteins, I should avoid protein containing blocking reagents. Let me go with Block PO blocking reagent. Forget the rotary shaker. I'm going to do my incubations and washes in the vacuum-driven SNAP ID system. It'll just suck the reagents through the membrane. 20 seconds per wash? I'll be looking at data 30 minutes from now. My protein might have a pretty strong signal in lane 2, and I don't want the signal to be too high. I'll try the medium-sensitive reagent first, and re-expose with Luminata Forte reagent if it doesn't work. Yes, overexpressed in the mutant. That explains the hairy ears on those mice. These data are ready to present at our meeting this afternoon.